Hello, so for today's nail video, I'm going to be using this nail polish. Um, it's going to be like a first impression how-to. Um, this is actually, I don't know if you guys can see because it's black on dark, but it's Magneto Magnetic Lacquer by Gelish Lacquer. And so first off, first impression, it looks exactly like Sally Hansen. The bottle is the same. Um, this one is 0.34 ounces. This one is 0.31 ounces. So there's just a little bit more in this one. But otherwise, they look exactly the same, even down to the pattern of the magnet. Um, I have no clue which one was first. This one is Sally Hansen, and it says they're based out of France and New York. And this one is Hand and Nail Harmony out of California and UK England so like I said um, they just look very similar almost the same um, other except for the uh, 0.03 difference in size but um, it looks like a knockoff I really don't know which one was first but still it reminds me of Sally Hansen um, the directions are not on this page, which this is Electric Metal Lover, um, but it does not say directions. So it says to peel, and so it is like a sticker. So it says to apply a thin coat of the polish. So it's not saying that you need a base coat. Um, then you let it dry, then you do the second coat, then you magnetize it for three to five seconds, and then you apply a thin top coat, and it's even got a couple of pictures. Um, I am going to be using a base coat. I would not use, not use a base coat. But yes, everything about this is exactly, to me, like the Sally Hansen ones. So, that is my first impression. Um, let's look at the brush, see if the brush is the same as Sally Hansen. This one is a fat, skinny brush, so you can only use it two ways. What is Sally Hansen's? I don't remember. I think it's just a regular brush. Oh, no, this one is also fat, skinny. Fat and skinny. So, I mean, they're like exactly identical other than this small size difference. So, anyways, um, this is detachable. You do have to take off the, I mean, you don't have to. I did not know that they detached the first few times I used these um, when they first came out on the Sally Hansen brand. Um, this is actually the first one I ever bought before I was really obsessed with nails a blue one um, so I did not know that it came off and I just flipped the whole entire thing over and used it like that but now I know this comes off so I would suggest you do it like that alright so I'm going to be using my Oont peel off base coat so let's get that on the nails All right, so I'm not even sure what color this is. It's almost like a burgundy. It's not quite red, but it's not really purple. It's like right down the alley, and it does look like it has silver metallic pieces in it. So I'm not sure how it's going to look on the nail. But like I said, you do need to detach this. It will help. And the first coat is just going to be plain nail polish. We're not going to magnetize it, just paint it on. So let's get that started. So after one coat, it looks like a very nice red on the nails. So that is a pleasant surprise. Like I said, from the bottle, I could not tell really what the color was, but on the nails, it's a very pretty red. Um, and it seems to have dried pretty quick by the time that I got my 
left hand painted, my right hand was already dry. So I'm going to go in with the second coat that magnetizes. Uh, it does say only three to five seconds, even though like the magna nails that I just did the other day were ten seconds. This one says three to five, so I will do the five seconds. So let's get it going. See how we can get it here. It's really quite subtle. It's not like bam in your face. It's really quite bleh. It doesn't pop that well. Let's just keep going, see if they get better with the bigger ones. Some of them are looking better than others. But I still just don't think that they are as bam in your face as if as some others. But they do look pretty cool. The red is really really neat. I don't think I have a red in any other color. So that is before the top coat, they're still pretty shiny. Uh, but like I said, they just don't seem as bam in your face. But they do look pretty cool. And the red is nice. I like the red. Alright, I'm just going to go in with my OPI top coat. Like I said, they were drying pretty fast. So I'm just going to go in with a few quick quick and accurate swipes and get this look completed. And that is the final look with top coat. So overall, um, I like it. I mean, it still reminds me pretty much of Sally Hansen. Um, I'm not sure who knocked off who but they work about the same they are almost exactly the same so I do like it and I don't have any other red magnetic polish I don't believe so that's it guys I approve I like them um, I have no clue which one is more expensive which one's cheaper where you would buy um, the Magneto I know the Sally Hansen you can get or you could get at Walmart. I don't know if it's still available. But um, they perform about the same. So I would just get the cheapest one. Whichever one is cheaper. But thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.